Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about PROC transpose. PROC transpose procedure is mainly to changing the orientation of uh, a data set. So the orientations can be changed from narrow to wide or vice versa, like from wide to narrow. So you can see this is an example. Uh, I have a data set with three variables and multiple records are there. And if I wanted to change orientation of this data set like this, that is possible through PROC transpose. And similarly, if we have a wide data set, like we have a multiple variables here and wanted to change the orientation of this uh, table to this in a narrow form from wide to narrow that you can do using the PROC transpose. So I will show you, uh, you know, use of PROC transpose with an example. So I have a data set here. I will show you that how this data set look like. So this is a data set you can see uh, data set name is stamp and um, this has uh, three variables and four records here. So if I wanted to change the orientation of this data set, uh, you know, based on the population number. So you have to remember that PROC transpose is uh, by default transposing only the numeric variables. So if you have a population like this orientation, it will change from this orientations to this orientation. So that is only for the uh, numeric variables that is by default. And if you wanted to include any character variables, then you have to use var statement and you have to mention that variable in your var, uh, you know, var statements. So uh, this is a, a simple SACS uh, transpose program so you can see that you have to write uh, proc transpose you have to specify your input data and if you want to take out this uh, your uh, whatever your uh, you know transpose data in a new data set you have to specify the name of your uh, data set uh, in your output uh, option here so when you will run this program so i'm going to run both the program together so it will be easy to understand that how the transpose actually happen. So um, this is my original data. You can see we have this, uh, my numeric variable population is orientation like this. But after transpose, you can see the orientation of this numeric variable is changed. And um, you can see uh, there are few uh, you know automatic variables name is generated first one is underscore name underscore so this one specify the variables that are basically transposed so in this original data set you will see the name of this one is population so in that case the populations variable will, uh, will come here and this is the column one column two column three and likewise if you have not mentioned any other statement then these automatic variables will fill with uh, you know first record of your uh, numeric variables so this is how the orientation changed so but you can control your output in so many ways so for example if you want to include any character variables as well as i said that uh, by default only numeric variable uh, will go for transpose but if you want to include any other variable so suppose I have um, you know another variable here for example in the original data set I wanted to include this variable pet along with this uh, variable population then you have to use a var statement here as I'm using here so in var statement I'm using uh, pet variable and population variable. So when you will include this variable, so both the variables will transpose now. So you can see this is the variable name pet and this is the variable name population and now their orientations is changed here. So uh, this is uh, you have to understand that uh, how you can control your output and I'm going to uh, explain you about few options. Uh, that is, uh, you know, that those options are very uh, useful. So first of all is prefix option. So prefix option, as I told you, the output, uh, you know, generate automated uh, variable name like column one, column two of whatever the transposed values are, uh, you know, is coming. So you can uh, control the name of this uh, variable. So for example, if you will use a prefix, 
so I'm using a prefix option here and writing the name of that prefix is pet count so if you will use prefix option it will replace the automatic variable name column one with this column with this prefix so when you will run this program you will see that call one is rep uh, you know replaced with pet count one column call two is replaced with uh, pet count two and likewise you know so this is about uh, the how you can use the prefix option and if you want to change the automatic variable name here underscore name underscore you have to use name option here so name option is also uh, basically describing uh, the whatever the variables is basically uh, used for the transpose so here the variable pet is going transpose here variable population is transposed so you have you can write any name like you know variables those are transposed uh, like that and here I'm uh, using input column like you know whatever the input column is used so you can specify this name uh, option here as well and your automatic variable name underscore name underscore will be replaced with this name so this is how uh, you can change the uh, you know output of your transpose data so next is ID statements in uh, proc transpose uh, procedure ID statement is very useful to basically change your output in a proc transpose procedure so what id statement um, do actually id columns values become new column values here so whatever the automatic uh, column name column one column two column three that's uh, you know came after the proc transpose uh, procedure so id variables will replace that one so for example uh, i'm running this program this is my original data set as i showed you earlier so this one is a temp one and you can see we have three different variables and four different records so i'm using here the proc transpose procedure taking out this uh, output in a new data set and i'm replacing uh, the you know underscore name underscore variable uh, you know variable name as input column and i'm using id statement uh, using the variable pet so whatever the values in pet variables will replace the column name so uh, let's run this program all together so it will be very easy to understand so this one is uh, my original data set uh, that is uh, work.tem and as i told you like if you are not mentioning anything in your var statement it will transpose only the numeric uh, variable so only the population will be transposed uh, from like this uh, row wise will become column wise like this so it will change so for example if you see this one is the transpose one so you can see the all the numeric values are now transposed and you can clearly see here the whatever the you know name of that column is replaced with the value of your id statements so this is what the id statement uh, do actually you know so if you will not mention it it will display here column one column two column three and column four and likewise so this is the use of id statement and if you are using you know um, a var statement as well if you wanted to transpose some of your um, you know uh, character variable for example i'm using pet honor here you know so pet honor uh, yeah this is the var pet underscore honor and then populations along with uh, that one so let's run all this together so it will more clearly visible that how the display is going to change so this is your original data set and this one is the transport so you can see you know uh, this variable is also now transposed and this is what the id variable is doing here so this is very useful uh, you know statement in proc transpose and uh, var statements as already so we can use var and id statements together to basically uh, see that how the variables are displaying and values are coming in your transpose data set so the next thing is by statement so by statement which is uh, very useful and what is um, the use of the by statements in the sas to understand is this is 
used in the SAS to instruct the data step or procedure to process data observations in group actually you know so how it works so let me uh, show you with an example that will be much easier to understand so here you need uh, to sort your data first because if you will not sort your data you will not able to run this program so I'm sorting my data with pet honor so now I have a sorted data here and I'm transposing this one we have to specify the name of the data set and this is the output uh, of that data set and this is the name where I'm transposing the variables and this is the by statement I am writing here so pet owner so when you run this program you will see that how the you know values are changed now so you can see you know there are two automatic variables so this is the pet owners this is by, uh, you know grouped according to the pet owner so mr black has two in column one uh, column one and two one in column two and likewise you know so this is how you can change the orientations and group actually based on the uh, by variables so this is also important and you can also use you know id statement here to specify like uh, what are those uh, basically columns so for example you can see when your statements uh, run a id statement so you can see i specify pet name as an id statement so now mr black has two dog you know and whatever the animals are there that is now oriented perfectly as per the id statements so this is how uh, you can handle and control different uh, output in proc transpose so this is all about basically you know uh, transposing a data set from uh, you know narrow to wide and similar way you can do from wide to narrow for example i have a data set here you know this data set has uh, one two three four and five variables and if i wanted to transpose all the numeric win will be transposed by itself so for example I'm not giving any other statements here so it will be simple uh, you know all the numeric values are now transposed so it was uh, playing like this uh, you know in a different way like this and now this is uh, arranging in a different way and you can use same way like you know if you are using a var statement to select more variables those are not numeric you can use id statement to replace these name and uh, you know you can use uh, name options here and if you need uh, prefix options that will also change here column one with whatever the prefix here with uh, that number so that way you can handle both white data set as well as uh, narrow data sets and transposed based on your need so i hope you like this video please subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching